Hold up, yeah. We ready? You don't believe them even talk. My Bible says it did. Once a certain nation was led by the hands of God from bondage to freedom. Other nations wanted to harm them, but God protected them. A baby black king of Moab was jealous of these people, but afraid of them, and wanted to drive them out of the land. He sent for Balaam and said, Balaam, I heard that there were people that came out of Egypt. Behold, covering the face of the earth. They are too mighty for me. And I've heard about how you've been given a gift that those you bless are blessed and those you curse are cursed. I want you to come and curse these people for me. I give you great honor and whatever you ask. But God said, no, Balaam, you can't curse my people. I promised Abraham that the seed would be blessed. Balaam and Noah God. And the next morning, he sat on his beast and started on his journey. God angel was God anger was kindled. The sudden angel with a sword right in Balaam's path. When the beast saw the angel, she turned aside and went across the field. Balaam struck her and put her back in the path. When the beast saw the angel, she plunged into a wall on the side of the path and mashed Balaam's foot against the wall. Balaam struck out it a second time. The angel went a little bit farther and stood in a narrow place. When the beast saw the angel, she fell down on the God. Balaam became very angry and struck the beast the third time. That time, number 22, 28 says, God opened the mouth of the beast. Balaam, Balaam, what have I done to thee that thou hast smitten me these three times? Balaam asked to say, you mark me. And I can imagine her the mule when she said, and am I not yours? And you read me all these days. Have you ever known me to do this before? Balaam answered, no. That time God opened the eyes of the beast. And it's all angel standing there with a sword in his hand. God, my master. Now God made a mute talk for him. Surely, surely, we that are created in his own image. Instead of backsliding, lying, speaking, even one of another, foolish talking. To keep our conversation holy and talk to Jesus. For as long as I live, I said, David, in Psalm 19, my lips, so let us pray. I'll talk to speak of thy word. Yeah, hey, are you willing? Are you willing? Yeah, I am so. Willing, and I'm gonna talk.